Welcome to day one of Makeup Mayhem 2014. If you guys weren't following me last year or if you've been living under a rock and you don't know what Makeup Mayhem is, it's a series where I put up a video every other day for the entire month of May. Even though it's called Makeup Mayhem, it's not all makeup related, it's just a cute name. Um, it can be anything that you would typically see on my channel, there's just a lot more of them. I'm posting a lot more often than I typically would. So I know a lot of you guys really loved it last year and I was thinking about whether I wanted to do it again this year and looking back on last year's series, I just have such a good feeling about it. I just really enjoyed doing it and I know that you guys enjoyed watching it. So I wanted to do it again and I'm really excited that I decided to do it again and it makes me really happy. So I kind of decided to go all out and I redecorated my background. It's a little bit springy and it's very flower-y cone. You run around a lot more now that your hair's cut. He like is this nimble little thing ever since he's gotten a haircut. He just runs around all the time, jumps on things, breaks things, eats things. Also, I have a brand new banner on my youtube.com slash alltheglitters21 page. My friend Tammy redesigned my banner. She did my vlogmas banner and my inslide and my regular All The Glitters 21 banner and now she did a Makeup Mayhem banner and I cannot thank her enough because she is incredible. Every single time she makes me a new banner, I'm like, that's the best one I've ever seen and she outdoes herself every single time. So I'm gonna link her below. I don't know if you guys make videos, but if you do, she does you know channel banner designs and all that stuff and she's really really good so thank you so much Tammy Pinecone will you please relax he like acts crazy when I turn my camera on he just like runs around also I'm filming in the middle of my hallway kind of like I'm, I'm like in between my kitchen like my bedroom's like right there like I'm filming right outside my bedroom door. I'm in a really weird location, but I felt like this was pretty because there's like pretty wallpaper and I'm just, see that wallpaper, that glittery stuff, that right there? Yeah, I think it's pretty. Today's video is going to be an updated what's in my purse video because I haven't done one of these since last Makeup Mayhem. So it's been an entire year and when I was going through Twitter and searching the hashtag LHeartsMay, which is my video request hashtag for the month, this was one of the most highly requested videos and I thought it's been a whole year, it's time, and it was perfect timing because I'm currently loving a new bag that I've never reviewed for you guys. So this is the bag. This is the Fendi Toujour in the plaster color. And the reason that I have been loving her so much is because she is much bigger than all of my other nicer higher-end bags. I tend to have smaller high-end bags. The bag that I did last Makeup Mayhem was a Chanel, which are beautiful bags, and I adore those so much, but they're little. They don't fit a lot of stuff, and as my everyday kind of bag, I have a lot of stuff that I need to carry around, and this thing is chock full. So there's two big compartments and a zippered compartment in the middle, which I'll show you guys after it's empty, but on one of the big sides, I have my agenda and my pack of pens. These are quite bulky, they wouldn't fit in any of my other purses, but there's room in this purse, and I kind of use this purse a little bit as a work bag. It's like a day work bag. I don't take all of this stuff with me everywhere I go. If I'm going shopping with my girlfriends, I do not take this big old heavy thing with my agenda and my pen pack of 20 pens. I either transfer a few of these things over to a smaller purse, or I just take a couple things out that are heavy, that I don't need with me, like this. But on a day-to-day -day basis, this is great to have in my purse because I use these every day, and they're just good to have with me so I can jot things down. So this is the Erin Condren Life Planner, and these are the Stadler Triplus Fine Liner pens. I got these off Amazon in a 20 pack, and they're my favorite pens to use with this agenda. These are great. I talked about them in a favorites video. I'm obsessed with it, and I do take them around with me because I love it. The next thing is this little pouch. This is from Forever 21, and I like this because it's padded, so it protects my electronical stuff that's inside. I have my vlogging camera. This is the Canon S110, and I don't vlog very much, you guys know, and I tend to use my phone if I am gonna vlog, and really for pictures too, but it's nice to have my nicer camera in case I need to film something with a little higher quality. I have my Mophie, which is my backup phone charger. I adore this thing, I got it at Best Buy, and it charges your phone up to your iPhone two times and your iPad once. It has a lot of juice. When I travel, it always does my phone and Blair's phone, and it has a little bit left over. It's just a really good backup battery. 
And then I have a pair of headphones, which are miraculously not too tangled. They're only a little bit tangled. That's a big deal for me. These are really pretty. They are the Friends ones, and they have rose gold on them, and they have rose gold little buds. They're just really fancy. So this is from Forever 21. Blair got it for me as a present. It's black and it has little pine cones on it. I love this thing. I love it so much. This is my little makeup bag. It's lined in pink inside. And I'll go through and show you guys the necessities that I keep in my purse. First, I have a pressed powder. This is the Dior Dior Skin Forever Compact in color 020, which is a very light color. That's what it looks like. It's a good powder. I've repurchased this. I like it. I have a concealer. This is the NARS Creamy Radiant Radiant Creamy Concealer in color vanilla. I have repurchased this too. This is a really good concealer. I have another concealer, the Bobbi Brown Corrector in color light bisque. I have the Dior Creme de Rose Lip Balm, which actually does not typically stay in my purse because I don't like tub lip balms for when you're like on the go because I don't think you should be like sticking your finger. I don't know. That grosses me out. Typically, I have like a stick one for my purse, but this was in here because I was at a shoot and I wanted this one in particular, and that's why it's in there. That's also why this is in here. These are the Colgate Wisps, and also floss. I was very prepared that day, so these are just in there from that. I don't typically carry that around, although those are good things to have. Oh, also, hand sanitizer from the shoot, because porta potties, gross, gross! This is the Sparkling Pink Champagne Bath & Body Works. This smells so good, and this came so in handy. I had my own roll of toilet paper and hand sanitizer. I was the porta potty queen. Everyone was like, Elle is prepared. She brought her own roll of toilet paper, but that's the way you gotta do it because you never even know if they're gonna have toilet paper in those things. Three lip products, I lied. Four lip products, six lip products, six. I have a Chanel lip liner in Rosewood with the Chanel lipstick in Caricature. These are my reds. Like if I'm gonna do red lips, this is my go-to red combination. So I keep red and I keep nude because you never know when you're on the go. Um, but this is like my favorite lip combination of life. This right here, this. I need like backups upon backups. Then I have MAC Ginger Root Lip Pencil. That's my nude, like my to-go nude. I have this on today. And then I have a couple of YSL lipsticks, number two, which I have on today. This is just a really pretty nude. And then I have a coral YSL in number 30, bright coral. And I have my Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker Gloss Stick in the color Nudist, another nude. I have one little lone brush. This is like a concealer brush. I just use it for concealer. This is the Real Techniques Setting Brush. It's just a little guy. I think it's for like powder, but I use it with my concealer, with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. It works really well. I have the Josie Marin Coconut Watercolor Cheek Gelee. This stuff is so good. I'm wearing it right now. I love this stuff so much. Um, it's not very practical to have on the go, like in your purse, because you have to use your finger. So that's not the most practical. But I have it in there. I mean, this is not edited, clearly, because that does not make any sense why that's in my to-go bag. I have a bunch of hair ties. I have a combination. I have these nice little ones. I love these. Blair makes fun of me. She does not like these hair ties. She thinks the little like knots that show are ridiculous. I think they're really cute. And then I have regular ones to appease my sister. And then I have bobby pins. I'm very prepared. And that's it. That's all that's in there. Oh, nope. And I have little tiny clear rubber bands. I just got every angle covered, like with hair. Like all I need is a bun donut and I will have, which I have over there, because I got it from Sally's. I got this new bun donut. I went to Sally's because Tati from Glam Life Guru recommended me a new fake tanner and I went all the way to Sally's to get it and I ended up with a bun donut because that's the way life works. All right, moving on to more stuff in the purse. Last thing on that side of the purse is this little Chanel pouch that keeps all my keys and all of my store loyalty cards. So I have my car keys, my house keys, Blair's house keys, because I have a spare. She lost my spare. Like that is not responsible. You cannot trust Blair with anything, um, but I have hers. All right, moving on to the other big, well, I'll do the middle, because I'll go in order. So in the middle section, there's a little zippered compartment. It doesn't fit much because it's little, but I have two power bars. I call these power bars. They're not power bars. I was just told by someone that these are not power bars. Alex, these are not power bars. Okay, this is a kind bar. Dark chocolate cherry cashew, and this is a Lara bar in banana bread. I've never actually tried this, but I was at the store buying like 72 
power bars because I was going to this thing and a lot of people were gonna need snacks and I decided to do mother hen and bring everyone snacks. And I bought a bunch and this was the flavor they had so I bought a bunch and then I had an extra and I haven't tried it. If you guys have tried the banana bread, is it good? I mean, I'll eat it eventually, but I always have bars in my purse because I get hungry when I'm out and about and when I get hungry, I get hangry. I have a little tiny baggie with little types of medicines, like little Advils and little Tylenols in case, you know, you get a headache. I have a bunch of feminine products, a bunch of different tampons, things like that. Oh, and a dark chocolate. Sometimes you just need a dark chocolate. These are my favorite ones. Blair actually introduced me to these. They're the Ghirardelli Intense Dark Twilight Delight 72%. These are so good and I have not one, but two in my purse because I always think to myself, I'm like, if I am out with like a friend and we need to eat something and we're starting to feel lightheaded, I don't wanna be like eating a chocolate and not have one to give her. So I have two. That's everything that's in the little tiny middle section. And then moving on to the other side, of the big section. So there's two things in here that are really bulky that are taking up almost the whole section that don't actually live in my purse, but that will be last. So before I get to that, I have my pair of sunglasses. These are the ones that I'm currently using. These are the Kate Spade brown ombre ones. I have had these for over a year. I have done these in an outfit of the day video, so you guys have seen them and are probably very familiar with them. And I might've even hauled them when I first got them but I love them still. I switch out my sunglasses a lot. I have quite the collection. I tend to really like and collect sunglasses and I always have it in the little matching case that it came with. I like this one because it's two-tone. It's orange and pink and it's very springy and it's like littler than most cases. Like it's still bulky, but um, I feel like some sunglass cases are like huge and take up your whole purse. So there's that. I have my gold brush. I love this. There's one hair coming out of it. Sorry about that, guys. This is the Sonia Kasha gold brush. I got this at Target around Korea. Ooh, it does not look gold. It looks black. It's gold. Why is it doing that? It's like bright gold. I don't know why it's looking black on camera. Um, but I got this around Christmas time, and I got one for me and one for Blair. And I love it. Since it's pretty, I use it as like my packing it in my purse brush. I have a container of ice breakers, ice cubes, peppermint gum. Love these. Love these. I like this container because you don't run out very fast. This is actually for your car. It's called like the car cup or something. I have one in my car too, but they're like little tiny squares. I love these. Look, they're little like cubes. Plus they taste really good. It's a burst of freshness. And there's 40 pieces in there so you don't like run out very fast. Cause I feel like I go through those packs in like a day, I'm like, where is all my gum? Where did, I, where did it all go? I don't even chew gum that often. I think I end up giving it away more than anything else. Okay, I have my little Michael Kors rose gold pouch. This is my essential wristlet. If I am running an errand and I don't wanna take this big old purse, this is all I have to take. Well, I take that back. I have to take this and I have to take this. Sometimes I combine them though and I put the stuff in here that I need, like my keys in here, which it fits and it still zips. Even my phone fits in here. This is like the best little thing. So inside I have all of my credit cards and my ID. I have this little pouch which I bought on the cruise at St. Martin. This was like a little like handmade pouch that I love. I love little pouches. Can you tell like everything's in a pouch? And inside here I have all my cash and a few coins. I don't carry a ton of cash with me, but in LA you never know when you're gonna need cash or coins for parking or for anything, so little pouch to keep that all organized. I also have a little pack of gum. Speaking of these kinds of gum packs, I just have this because it's flat and it fits well, and if I'm not taking like the whole purse, then I don't have this. So it makes sense that I have like a little pack to grab and go. And then I have three receipts, let's see. Okay, two of these are for things I bought today, which are coming up in this, the next two things you guys are gonna see. And then I have a anthropology receipt for four coasters that I bought. They're called Molten Rock Coasters. I bought them for my coffee table. They're gorgeous. I love them so much. And that was everything that's in there. I just threw my gum on the floor by accident. Now Pinecone's going after it. Pinecone, you do not need gum. The last thing that I have in my purse is my phone, of course. This is the iPhone 5S and it has a Solaris by Ellen Blair case on it. Of course, you guys are gonna be like, you always promote your own stuff. If you had a cell phone case accessory line, you would be carrying it on your phone too. 
I love this one because it's pink and it has little gold studs and if you can't tell pink and gold is kind of my thing right now everything's like nude pink and gold or rose gold gold or rose gold because rose gold has like pink and gold in it like these are rose gold yay okay so there's two more things in my purse that do not belong in my purse and the reason they're in my purse I just said purse like seven times in one sentence or three is because I bought them today and that's why this video is going up a little bit late still on the day but probably after midnight which I don't know if that counts I'm gonna say it counts because I haven't slept yet and because the reason that it's going up late is because I wanted to buy you guys a present I got a paper cut Ow. How the heck did I get that paper cut? I think your receipts just paper cutted me. Ow. I got a paper cut. He does not care. Okay, so I tweeted last night and I said, if you guys could win any handbag, what would you win? And there were definitely two or three that were at the top that were getting so many votes that I know you guys would be so excited. And so I figured, I'm just gonna go out and I'm gonna get this and I'm gonna give it away to one of you guys in the first Makeup Mayhem video and possibly do another big giveaway at the end of Makeup Mayhem. But just so you guys know, Makeup Mayhem is gonna be filled with giveaways on videos, on Twitter, maybe on Instagram. So make sure that you are subscribed and that you're following me on Twitter and Instagram because there are gonna be more giveaways this month than ever. It's just gonna be this huge giveaway love fest from me because I'm just feeling really motivated and into giving back to you guys right now. And so that's what this is. This is a little like, welcome to Makeup Mayhem giveaway. So the first thing you will win is a Rebecca Minkoff Mini Mac. This is so pretty that I'm having trouble giving it away. They only had one. I probably would have bought one for myself, but they only had one and I'm gonna give it to one of you guys. So it's a white Mini Mac with gold hardware. It is stunning, like looking at this, I'm just so in love with it. The second thing the winner is going to get, this is going to one person because I bought them as a set, is a Michael Kors watch. This I actually bought to go with the purse. I bought the purse first and then I went to the Michael Kors counter and I picked out a watch that went with it. This is a yellow gold watch and I thought that it matched the hardware and I just thought that was such a cute set. And I have been on the hunt for a good yellow gold watch myself. And so this is the one that I would pick for myself if I was to buy a yellow gold Michael Kors watch right now. I love rhinestones when it comes to the rose gold. Like my rose gold has rhinestones. It's kind of blinged out. But with the yellow gold, I just feel like I like it to be a little classier. And so I was trying to think to myself which one I should get because I feel like the rhinestones are really cute and I kind of wanted to go that route and then I thought, no, I wanna get exactly what I would get myself. So one winner gets both the watch and the purse. And like I said, if you guys don't win this one, there's gonna be so many giveaways coming up. But I really just wanted to start Makeup Mayhem off with a giveaway that was exciting, that were things that I know you guys would like. And Rebecca Minkoff, Mini Max, and Michael Kors watches are two things that you guys know that I love. I wear my Michael Kors watch all the time and I have like two or three, three Rebecca Minkoff bags that I love. Like I keep buying more of them because it's such a good purse. So yeah, so in order to be eligible, you need to do the things that are in the information box below. Just read there. I think I'm gonna have a blog post that you guys are gonna go to and do a raffle copter thing to enter because I know my spring giveaway got all sorts of spam and I don't want that to happen again because I know a lot of people were getting, like everyone was getting messages saying that they had won and it wasn't coming from my account and I know that's happening to a lot of YouTubers and it made me really sad because I didn't want like you guys to think that you won and then got your hopes up and then you didn't so that made me really sad. So this is just an easier way to do it and everything should be organized. So definitely check the information box for all the things you have to do to be entered for this. But anyway, before I let you guys go, I did say that I would do kind of another little um, review of the bag once it's empty. So I can show you what it looks like inside in case you're interested in this bag. It has some like coins down at the bottom. That's not good. And a necklace, what the heck? This thing needs to be cleaned out. This is the best way to clean it out is to do what's in my bag because then you actually take everything out of the purse. This is what it looks like inside. So it has the two big compartments, the zippered compartment in the middle, and then it does have two little pockets over here on the side. One that you can put your phone in and one that you can just put, I don't know, whatever in. I do like that it has a striped interior. I just think it's really cute. And yeah, that's the bag. It does come with 
a longer strap that I just tuck in because I don't actually need that for anything. I just carry it like this. And it has this little thing which can be heat stamped with your initials. I decided not to because I just like the look of it kind of plain. And it has a really pretty like metal edge that I just think is gorgeous. I love this purse so much. So yeah, this purse holds a lot and this video has gotten long and I still have to edit it and put it up tonight and it's already getting really late. I hope you guys enjoyed it anyway and I hope you're looking forward to Makeup Mayhem and I will see you guys in two days with my next video. All right, bye.